Turns out building your own liquid glass view in React Native is not that complicated of a process. So I've got a very simple React Native application here that we're gonna build our own liquid glass view component in. The first thing we wanna do is generate our own Expo module where we're gonna house the liquid glass Swift UI code. And here's the liquid glass view module code that was generated for us. Pretty much all the code in here isn't necessary, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete it all. Okay, now that that's cleaned up, let's take a look at our view code that was generated. All right, there's a lot of example code in here, most of which I'm just going to delete and start from scratch. Our first step is to import the Swift UI library. Now that we've got that done, we're gonna define a liquid glass view that just extends the Swift UI native view component. Okay, we've got the basic skeleton of the view set up. Now I'm just gonna make some modifications to apply the glass effect to whatever child is passed to this component if we're running iOS 26. And if we're not running iOS 26, we're just gonna render the children out as they're given to us. Okay, the basics there are done. Now let's just apply the glass effect. Okay, now that that's done, we just need to make sure that we import this view into our module properly. All right, that setup is done. Now the next step is to write all the necessary JavaScript code to expose this component to our React Native application. Now that we've got all that done, our final step is just to import the component and start using it inside of our screens. Here's the screen that we were looking at earlier, and here's the code that renders out that component. All I need to do now is just import the liquid glass view, and then I call like I would any other component. There's the exact same code, but with the liquid glass effect applied to the view that's surrounding the text. There you have it, liquid glass and React Native built with your own Expo module. What do you think? Are you gonna try this out on your next React Native application?